Hello and welcome to a Tabletop Bellhop Cardboard Coat Check. I am Mo Tuzano, the Tabletop Bellhop, your cardboard concierge, answering your gaming and game night questions and working with you to make your game nights better. The question I'm answering right now is what's in the box in regards to this fairly small box expansion for the card game Imperial Settlers. This is the Glory of the Gods Aztecs expansion for the card game Imperial Settlers. Note the original Imperial Settlers, not Empires of the North. This is not a new expansion, having been released in 2016. This is a game coming off my own personal pile of shame uh, that I picked up after playing Imperial Settlers and just never got open. But my family and everyone else has been playing Imperial Settlers a lot now. My kids are into it, and I'm looking to add more to my game. So step one is going to be to open the box. And I thought I'd enjoy you, invite you to join me for that experience, seeing what's in this box for the first time with me. So step one, of course, is to cut the shrink. So we're going to do that. In the days of its glory, the Aztec Empire covered most of Mesoamerica. And its cultural and religious influence spread far and wide. As the leader of the Aztec people, you can now turn to the gods to ask them for help. Use divine blessings and favors to outperform your rivals. With the Aztec's expansion, you'll add a new faction and a religion mechanic to the base game of Imperial Settlers. When playing, all players can now introduce an element of risk to how they resolve their actions. Will you, dear, ask more of the gods? So I will say it's an interesting choice to add a fantastical element to what was a pretty straightforward civ building game. Let's see how they do that. I am totally expecting to find a rule book and a bunch of cards. I'll be surprised. If this, maybe there'll be some punch boards. There might be some kind of god tokens or something. But let's see. <laughs> Way more work than it should have been. So they're, they're not wasting any time on like bright intros or anything. They're just like, boom, rules. Okay, I will say that is tiny text. I honestly, wow. Yeah, that, that, that is very tiny text. I would greatly appreciate if that was a larger font. Uh, give me eight pages at a bigger font, please, instead of four pages at this tiny font. Uh, so yeah, the rule book's two column format. Again, very tiny, very tiny. Um, shows different formats of play now. The rules for the Aztecs. Um, the new rules added with the Aztecs, as well as summary of some of their specific cards. Pretty much what I'd expect. Um, talks about matching. I don't know what matching card types, what matching cards types. And then it does show rules introduced in previous expansions. I do not have those previous expansions. Now, from what I understand, this game works as standalone. Uh, but I'll let you know once I play it if for some reason it does not actually work without having these previous. There are also some clarifications. We have like pyramid shaped tokens. We have one random card on top of everything. That's very strange. I am not sure why there's one Aztec card here on top of everything. Um, oh, okay. So in the original game, uh, these are all solid single piece. It's interesting to see that they, they uh, made them puzzle fit. Um, and then these are obviously your new God tokens in the various player colors. There's obviously something with building artifacts here. So yeah, the, the player board, instead of being a single, nah, it's a problem. But in the original game, these are all one solid piece. It's interesting to see that in the expansion, um, it's, it's a puzzle fit, two piece, which is fine. I'm just a little surprised. I guess that's to fit in the box. So yeah, uh, new board, new player board with their, the starting resources and everything on it. Uh, tokens, new tokens and cards. Uh, one of the cutest things in Imperial Settlers is the box insert always features some little Easter eggs here. Uh, there is one baggie for your new Aztec faction. I still have no idea why there's like this card. I have no idea what this is. It's a unique building. We'll put that aside. We'll double check, make sure there's nothing. No, no surprises. You got llamas here. See, cute little llamas. Oh, wait, I shouldn't have done that. Oh, there, there, I found it. See, there's always Easter eggs. I found the Easter egg. They will never recognize us. See, told you. Easter eggs. Okay, let's crack open the cards. Oh, and new cards for all the other factions. Interesting. Okay, that's cool. So I think these are the Atlanteans, which I don't actually own. Um, so yes, new cards for the other factions. Cool. These are the Samurai, obviously. 
the Egyptians. So it was an Egyptian card that was sitting on top. Let's get this out of the way. We don't need that over here. We don't need this. We're just cluttering things. Clutter is bad. So I don't know why that one card was sitting on top. Is it like a reprint of one of these? Let's take a quick look. Is that card in here? Nope. No clue. Barbarians. So yes, new cards for the existing factions in the game. So you have the the um, the Egyptians, the here. Let's slide these up. The Egyptians, the uh, the Japanese, the uh, barbarians, the Romans, and then if you have the Atlanteans, and here's the new deck for the um, the Aztecs. What's interesting is there's no generic cards added, so just new faction cards. So quickly, the the different factions are going to have new stuff, and it's of course it's going to be multiple copies of certain cards. Because there's three copies of this card, two copies of this card, two copies of this card, and one copy of each of these. So that's probably going to be the same in all of them. So these are brand new cards for the existing faction. So not only do you get a new faction to play with, you are going to get a bunch of new faction buildings for your existing factions. That makes me really happy. That is fantastic to see. I'm just going to flip through these quickly without reading any of the rules, if you can see them. So again, the distribution is a little different for this deck. So there's two of this card, one of that one, one of that, one of that. So a lot more unique, but then three of these... And show on. Uh, Barbarians is actually my favorite faction to play, so I'm looking forward to checking out these cards. Then we have the Japanese cards, which of course can all be raised. Oh, not all. This one can't be raised. Interesting. Oh, I think I found out what's going on with that card, because there's an Egyptian card. <laughs> so I think we had a typo or, or misprint, because let's find it. Yep. There we have. This one's obviously wrong. It was printed for the wrong faction. So there you go. That's what the card on top was. Fair enough. I'm just going to keep this out of the box because all of the Japanese buildings, Japanese can sacrifice their own buildings. They can raid their own people to get stuff. And there was no way to raid that card. So that's interesting. That At least I caught that. So we're going to throw that over there. That's probably mentioned in the rule book. Atlanteans. I don't own Atlanteans, so, but we have a bunch of Atlantean cards. Egyptian cards. Again, I kind of flip through these. And while well, here's our new faction, the Aztecs, which I have to assume some of these give you the god tiles. They're going to be temples. So I'm going to flip through these pretty quick. Again, there's multiple copies of some of these to, to mess with the deck, to mess with, to set the deck distribution. Twos, actually, they're all sorted by threes, then twos, then ones. Artwork on these is always great. I've always appreciated the artwork. Iconography is always good. Um, very clear cards in this game. There always has been. I'm a big fan of Imperial Settlers. Looking forward to checking this out. Oh no, it's it's not by order, so I don't I don't know what order these are in. Whole new faction, nice, thick, solid deck of new cards, as well as multiple new cards for each of the existing factions. Big thumbs up there. Appreciate that. Now, of course, the worst part of putting a card game away without using the baggies. So here, this is a, a good comparison. There are just as many. Literally, to, to the card, it looks like. New cards for the existing factions as there are new Aztec cards. So that's a cool touch. We got some new stuff, new trackers to track for the favor of the gods. There's something to do with pyramids here. New player board. I can't get these to fit back in, but that's fine. <laughs> and one new baggie. There you go. What you get in the box. Four Imperial Settlers Aztecs. An expansion for Imperial Settlers. Note the original. Imperial Settlers, the card game, a Civ Bilzing game from Portal Games. This adds a new faction to the game, but also gives you new cards for all of the existing factions, including the Atlanteans, which was the first expansion for the game. I am looking forward to throwing this stuff into my Imperial Settlers game and seeing how it changes the game. Thank you for joining me for this unboxing video. Now, if you want to find out how that turns out, follow me on social media as Tabletop Bellhop, one word. Check out the TabletopBellhop.com website uh, at TabletopBellhop.com and listen to the Tabletop Bellhop Gaming Podcast, which you should be able to find on any podcaster out there. You got Apple, Spotify, iHeartRadio. We're everywhere. You can find us everywhere. Hear my thoughts as we check out this expansion. If you enjoyed this video, please hit the thumbs up or hit subscribe or both, which would be awesome. And you can also ding the bell to get notified when we go live. That's it for this unboxing video. Thank you for joining me. Good day and game on.